Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel being Louisa. So today's video is sponsored by nurses.co.uk. Nurses.co.uk are an online website with all things nursing, from job posts to blog posts, and their midwifery section is expanding with us. Today's video is going to be my interview top tips. So, oh my gosh, it's crazy to say that I was interviewing like, what, three years ago? just under three years ago. I was interviewing for midwifery in about February slash March of 2017, which is so crazy to think. Like two and a bit years ago now. That's so crazy. And then I got in and I started September 2017. I can't believe that happened. But for those of you guys who are going through that stress, one, I feel you, I see you. I understand that stress, okay? <laughs> Two, these are some of the tips that I think should help to get you through. So my top tips for interviewing, ah! If you've ever had another job, kind of think of it like that, how you would prep to go in for a job interview, that's sort of how you wanna go in for midwifery. And now I think I've even heard that they're expanding like how many places are offered on a course. I believe the new cohort for my university, now there's like 88 of them in first year which is mental to me i'm like whoa i think there's only about 50 something of us in first year so it's like 88 like how crazy it's like such a big jump so maybe take a little deep breath and like inhale and exhale because it's more of a chance of you getting into a midwifery degree since they're now expanding their you know <laughs> the spaces <laughs> so what you want to do is remember like first impressions are everything so when you get there always be smiling because trust me i read that and i was like isn't that obvious but then i was like wait no because i have a resting b face like <laughs> if you ever see me and i'm like zoned out i have this face that's just like but especially if i'm like traveling i have that do not talk to me face like <laughs> but yeah so having to be reminded like smile when you go in there smile try and give off a like, good positive aura I guess if that's what you believe in like give off good vibes that's always always helpful also the way you're dressed so right now my hair is actually a mess I'm not gonna lie to you I need to wash my hair it's so bad but I have this rule don't touch your hair if you're feeling stressed so I haven't but what I've done, even though my hair is actually a mess, what I've done is I have just slicked it back, as you can see, and I've just popped on a scarf, and I've done like a cute little back swirl thing. <laughs> I like basically just like um, twisted it, and looped it around a donut, so it's a nice little swirl. So that's nice and neat, or you can do whatever go-to hairstyle that is nice and neat and makes you look presentable. And then I have on some makeup i have a bit more than i would want for interview to be honest with you because i don't wear this all every day this is just videos and the rare occasion that i go out so i probably wouldn't have on this lipstick i'd probably just have on like lip balm and i probably have a little less makeup on so i've got some highlighter on as you can see by that lovely reflection uh, i probably wouldn't have highlighter on i'll probably just have like a base makeup on which is basically what i have so i have on the foundation and the concealer and uh, that's pushing it for me that's basically all i have on i've done my eyebrows a little bit and then i've got lipstick that's it and highlighter but i wouldn't have the lipstick or highlighter some people would wear lipstick if that's what they do like every day i don't but yeah so like have something that makes you look nice fresh faced and just like you know what you're doing <laughs> and then wear something presentable because of course you're being judged on your looks that's your first impression so be smiling and be presentable i wore my trusted skater skirt to the interview my interviews and tights because the skirt was a tinty tiny bit too short um and then i had on my zara home jacket because it looks so cute and professional and i had on like some i think i actually had on my dr martins which usually i would never suggest but it was the only shoes i had at the time and it kind of went because i was wearing like this like i think Oh, because of my jacket that's why it went because of my jacket like those th those colors kind of just like stood out and so i actually complimented on the combo which was kind of awesome <laughs> but yeah so that's my first tip is be presentable guys make sure you're looking good when you go to an interview and then my next tip is make sure you've done your research i get so many people ask me like what should they research or what should they look up or can i do it for them and tell them and it's like you need to just research yourself and you need to look good like make sure that you know what you're talking about know what they want as well like you let's be honest if you've gotten an interview you probably know what they want and it's in your personal statement so know your personal statement 
and just like know what they want on their website so go on their website and see what they're looking for within the student and yeah ask loads of questions make sure you have questions that's always a good tip for any interviews have questions um but also have answers to questions with midwifery a lot of universities do multi-mini interviews so mmis and they ask you a bunch of scenario questions so make sure you are able to explain yourself and show like you're working out basically but speak it <laughs> so they will ask you scenario questions on an array of things some might not even be relevant to the degree but they want to see are you biased or how what's your reason and why would you choose that person over that person like what's the reasoning behind that and so yeah I remember mine I was like oh I feel really bad but like if I had to but then again it's like this person and blah 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 I was really like I was really like oh I feel so bad but yeah so make sure you just say like why you why you would do that or how you feel or why you would feel that way or whatever it is and that is always good because they want to see like do you have any unconscious biases that you don't know about does this person reason well like are they good like do they have a conscience like is their conscience telling them i should know you should do this instead like they want to see all those things about you another tip is make sure you're reading the news or watching the news like i'm really bad i do not do it anymore because the news is just too much for me here in the uk right now because it's all about brexit but when they do talk about the nhs make sure you're looking those things up and you're researching it and you know your own opinion on it not someone else's your own opinion what is your opinion about the latest thing about NHS or about the maternity services. Also, make sure you know about like the latest scandal that's happened. So whatever's big within the maternity services because that is something that shows that you know you're keeping up to date with information but also that you have an opinion on it. Don't be like, oh my gosh, it shows this, 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 but like have an opinion on it. Say how it made you feel when you heard about it or when you read about it and be like, but this is just a great area to improve in and say how the maternity services could improve from this scandal basically, or from this big mistake or whatever it is. So yeah, those are my kind of tips for you. I hope they help. So basically the short version to the long story is be presentable, make sure you're looking good in the sense that you look fresh faced or you just look like you look presentable. Your hair's done good. If you can't be able to do your hair, wrap it up girl, wrap it up. <laughs> um, have a nice simple face look and be wearing presentable clothing i wore like a blouse a skirt wear some nice shoes i would not suggest wearing a dr martin's <laughs> with some nice shoes and a nice jacket and then be prepared with all your materials that you want to say why you want to be a midwife what brought you into this career make sure you have like those basic questions ready and then make sure you're good at reasoning and you're good at showing your reasoning out loud because they will ask you questions that will test your reasoning and then make sure you have listened to the news or watched the news or read something in the news about midwifery. And then make sure you also know what midwifery is really about, like not just holding babies. Make sure you know the ins and outs of midwifery because that's what you're going into. So I hope these tips are helpful. I hope your interviews go well. I guess you guys are actually really more in the writing your personal statement stage. So this is probably like, oh my gosh, you've just scared me because that's so far away, so I'm sorry. But this will be here for when you guys are ready for interviews. So until then, keep on being you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below with any questions or suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates. Bye, y'all.